Hey folks, Rick here. I'm out in Wyoming at my cabin. I just want to show you around a little bit. So this is my garage. We built this about 12 years ago when I bought the place and it's got a big bunk room upstairs. All my buddies can come out, come out and elk hunt with us and stuff. And uh, you can see all the mountains around me here. It's just a great spot. I got uh, 40 acres. So over here, we'll go inside my cabin. I got a nice old log cabin. I just had it all sandblasted and restained. It come out great. And uh, come inside. And this is kind of the kitchen, living room area. And that's a big muley I killed in uh, Colorado years and years ago. Uh, these two elk I killed. Oh. Killed that one about six years ago, that one four years ago, right up behind camp here. A couple, both a couple of beauties. And uh, I killed this, uh, I killed this big mule deer over in Idaho. He's in the 170s, yeah, like 10 years ago. That was a nice buck. I got these uh, antelope actually right on my own property. It's pretty tough to draw a tag in Wyoming. And uh, they're both uh, very close to record book. Um, <laughs> I killed them both right here on my own 40 acres, so that was pretty cool. That doesn't happen too often, but we got pretty good animal hunting. This is a lion I killed in Colorado 10 or 12 years ago, uh, out there hunting with hounds one year. And uh, this big elk I killed two years ago, this is my best elk. He scores uh, 343. He's a six by seven. And uh, he was down in a canyon. I hiked up over two different mountains and I got up high there and I let a bugle out and he answered me way down in the canyon and I ended up calling him up through there. It was a real nasty hole. And I don't even know how he made it up through, but he ended up getting it up through that, all them blowdowns and stuff, and I shot him. It took me a couple days to get him out of there. It was a hard spot. This elk, uh, he's not a monster, but I worked pretty hard to get him. That was quite a few years ago over in uh, one of the units here, and, and we rode horses in uh, about 11 miles. It was the same exact place we just we just came from where we, we just killed those two bulls. And uh, like I said, it's a, it's a lot of work to get in there. And any animal you kill that is a lot of work usually means more than an easy one. Anybody who tracks or puts a lot of miles on knows that. So uh, this week, just for instance, this week we put 46 miles on horseback, packing elk and riding in and out, but mostly just packing gear. And we probably walked 30 miles besides. So that, that's it. See you on the trail.